What's up, everybody? This prophet is Kimberly Moses. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Come on in and begin to heart me up. How you doing, Mac Attack? I think that's Prentice. How you doing? Good to see you, Andres. Good to see you guys. God bless you. Thank you for hearting me up already. I want to encourage um, someone today. Hey, Amen. How you doing, Prophetess Joni? How you doing, Lashana? How you doing, you guys? How's everybody's uh, day going? Thank you for uh, inviting followers. Amen. I want to just give a quick, quick word to bless you guys, to encourage you. Uh, I want to make a few announcements. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, God is moving. Uh, many of you guys know we pray on the prayer line 6 a.m., God is doing something major in the spirit, Amen. Uh, over this way, uh, and all the and all the people that's connected. Also, we we pray um, at noon, and God is moving. I want to tell a quick, quick testimony. Uh, just about today, God bless you, Barbara. Good to see you uh, today on the prayer line. Uh, God, I think you gave me like two words of knowledge, and people begin to testify. Uh, I think Lashana was there, Prentice was there. Uh, and Tris, I think she might have been there. Um, but anyways, God, he said someone has nerve damage. And uh, a woman of God testified at the end of the call. She said that um, when I called it out, she used her faith. She exercised her faith and she just began to walk. And God healed her on the call. And this was the same woman of God that uh, I think last month, I began to tell the testimony of how God grew one leg out evenly with the other leg. And she said, you know what? I got the same problem. So everybody on the prayer line touched and agreed in faith. And God began to grow her leg out, uh, you know, on the call. Um, and this was a 6 a.m. call that happened last month. But today, uh, I believe God healed her of nerve damage. So that's awesome. And also someone else, God showed me someone was being bullied. Uh, their child by a boy and a woman and a God came forth and she testified so God is good you guys God is moving on the prayer line so I think uh, the intercessors were coming forth and just agreeing you know with that uh, you know every day amen God is doing the work um, prophecies coming forth and yeah God is doing a major work so I'm excited uh, tomorrow you guys I am going to be ministering Waltersboro, South Carolina, Waltersboro, South Carolina, talking about the prophetic process. It's going to be amazing. Uh, God has been giving me a glimpse of the service, so I'm excited about that. So if you can get to Waltersboro, South Carolina, I think that's like maybe somewhere near Charleston. I, I don't, I'm not sure. Hey man, you need to get there. It's going to be powerful. God has shown me a glimpse of the service. He showed me, uh, just, I saw people covered in sheets, you know, so I'm like, okay, God. So he said, bring those sheets. So, you know, someone bring those sheets tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta be obedient. So I know, uh, his glory is going to come and sit down upon us and the guy's going to move. Uh, God's been downloading, uh, just little, things to say tomorrow in my spirit man so i'm excited about that so get there um i think we might periscope it amen so if you periscope it i want you guys to show some love and support and share amen because i know some of you guys probably can't travel down to the south carolina area so i want you guys to heart us up tomorrow and share the broadcast it's going to bless a lot of people because a lot of us are you, you know, God has spoken to us about certain things and we got to go through a process to get the promise. So I'm going to be talking about that. Tomorrow is going to be life changing. Also, write a chapter, you guys. How many of you guys are interested in writing a chapter in one of my upcoming books uh, for next year? Uh, several people have signed up. I encourage you to sign up. Go to my website, click events, and then you'll see write a chapter underneath the December events. Uh, and look at the list of things. There's so much. I want this book to be used as an evangelistic tool. Our job in the body of Christ is to win souls. So many people out there, we we need to tell our testimony. Amen. So, so many benefits, uh, you know, uh, that uh, this writer chapter offers. One of them is being a potential panelist uh, at maybe my next event that the Lord uh, releases me to do. Um, you get uh, you get a discounted uh, rate on the book itself. 
uh, in an uh, interview. Amen. So I'm excited about that. So sign up, sign up, sign up. Amen. It's going to, um, I, I can't wait, you guys. Amen. Uh, we got a new book coming out on wisdom. That's, that's going to be out for pre-order uh, next month. It's going to bless your life. Amen. Wisdom, says God, is one of the next major moves that's going to hit the body of Christ. So God, been, he's been telling me uh, for a long time, write a book on wisdom, write a book on wisdom. And you guys, I had so many distractions, but that's going to be out like next month. All right. It's going to bless you. I'm actually coming to Georgia very soon. Amen. Very, very soon. And I haven't shared that with anybody yet, but I'm coming very soon to do something. So make sure you come and support. Amen. Um, what I want to say, so much is happening, you guys. I want to encourage you. Um, School of the Prophets, I'm telling you guys, sign up. It's going to be powerful. Awesome. Amen. The classes start January the 3rd. Your life is going to change. I'm not just saying that just to say it. No. I'm, I pray my, my biggest prayer this season is for lives to be transformed. It's not about Kimberly or, ex, you know, just not about this ministry, but it's about lives being transformed. I want to make sure you hear God, you, you, you see, amen, you were able to discern, you know, you make sure you have a prayer life. Yeah, so sign up. You can go to my website. Um, so let, let me give you this word. All right, so I named this, uh, I don't know what I named it, Expansion. I don't know, you guys, but I was reading my devotional last night, uh, and I was reading the Word of God, and I came across, I think, Luke 13, verses 18 and 20, and this is going to bless you. And I begin to read, and I, I know I probably preached this before, but I begin to read about a mustard seed, how God took a mustard seed. He said the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed when it's cast or planted in the garden, that mustard seed becomes uh, a big mustard tree with branches, with fowls or birds uh, in, in the branches, in the branches. So that's increase. How and that, that's expansion. How God can take a little teeny teeny mustard seed and do something of value with it. Amen. Uh, let me go to the next one before I begin to break this word down. Um, yeast. The kingdom of God is like yeast. Well, a woman hides it in some flour and it makes the flour rise. That's expansion. So with God, you cannot stay small. I need somebody to say this. With God, I cannot stay small. Somebody put that up there. I shall not stay small. Come on. I shall not stay small. See, with God, God, you are mandated for expansion. You may be broke right now. You may be in the wilderness right now. You may be in the pit right now. But God has mandated expansion on your life. I said God has mandated expansion on your life. See, God took the mustard seed. The little bitty, you know how small a mustard seed is? You know how you can overlook it? You know, uh... We probably got to train our eye to focus in on a mustard seed. So God is going to take many of you guys who have been overlooked, that have been uh, just, I'm telling you, some of you guys are beyond rejected. He's going to take the very thing, the very individual who feels like everybody forgot about them. He's going to raise you up like a mustard tree in the spirit. He's going to raise you up like a mustard tree. A mustard tree, do your do, do Google, is enormous. It's huge. Amen. He's going to raise you up for his glory so the world can see, hey, I took this reject and I put some anointing on them. Amen. And I made their life purposeful. I, I made their life, you know, I took it from, you know, bad to better. Amen. Some of you guys got a, a horrible past. I know I do. You know, jail, probation, uh, just just losing everything. Amen. But God took my life when I thought my life was over, and He made my life of a life of purpose. He made my life. Come on you know one of value see god is going to take the weak things of the world 
to confound the mighty. Amen. See, people think, oh, because uh, I got credentials or X, Y, Z, they may feel they're anointed or they're good looking. None of that matters with the Lord. He's looking at people in this season whose hearts are pure before him, who's hungry for him, that is crying out like, God, I want more, God. I'm not satisfied with going to church every day. There has to be more. And I feel so much fire coming on, on this word. Amen. God wants to bring expansion to your life for those that's been faithful a lot of you guys been faithful a lot of you guys just you feel like i got a glare you feel like you are just going you know around the mountain you feel like you just uh going around in circles and nothing is happening nothing is uh uh, productive but god has a plan and part of that plan is expansion you may be homeless right now but god is going to bring expansion to your life and, and bless you with your own plates amen you may be broke right now but god is going to bring expansion to your life amen He's going to make you a financer of his kingdom amen god's going to show you guys literally if you are being stripped god is taking you through the process that's all it is. Some of you guys, the hand of the Lord is upon your life and you're being stripped right now. You're being stripped of pride, rebellion, all kind of crazy stuff. Amen. And God is going to bring you expansion because after he purges you, after he strips you out of you, amen, and put more of himself in you, then he's going to bring expansion to your life. Amen. He's going to bring a mighty expansion to your life. You can't stay small. You can't stay small-minded. God is going to expand your thinking, amen, so you can walk into the next season that he has for you. See, maybe right now nobody knows your name, amen. Maybe you feel like you don't have a voice, but God is going to bring expansion to your life. He's going to bring expansion to your ministry. He's going to bring expansion, amen, to the work that you are doing, to the labor of your hands. So people on here, you feel very discouraged because you're doing everything God told you to do, but it seems like people are not receiving you and that's okay because get ready because god is going to send you expansion amen there's nations waiting for you there's a uh, new territory that you're about to tread on i'm telling you god has so much in store for you he's about to expand your territory you can't stay small just like the woman the woman in uh, luke 13 she took some uh, yeast Come on now, we know that yeast makes something rise, you know. She took the yeast and she hid it in flour. And then it, it, it rose, amen, it rose. And it don't take a, a lot of yeast to make something rise, amen. So God is going to cost what little you have, amen, and bring expansion. See, the enemy comes to divide and subtract, amen, but God comes to add multiply and increase how can i say that because you see the multiplication miracle that jesus did when he fed the crowd of five thousand amen all they had was uh two fish and five loaves of bread but jesus blessed it gave thanks unto god and god gave a multiplication miracle god brought the increase amen god brought some expansion so much that they had uh fragments of baskets left over that each disciple of the 12 each 12 disciples had enough for leftovers amen so what god is going to do in your life you're going to have overflow your family is going to be blessed because of you amen people connected to you is going to be blessed because of you because you sought the face of god because you uh you know you fasted when god said fast you prayed when nobody else was praying amen you took the long and and and, and you took the lowly route amen and those that don't want the spotlight those that saying god just do a work in me you know the humble that's the ones that god is going to raise up that's the ones that god is going to bring this mighty expansion in your life amen expansion belongs to you as a child of god if you know you're a child of god expansion belongs to you amen stop thinking small stop getting comfortable in your your valley place stop getting comfortable in your lack come on stop getting comfortable in that dry place because god he he he, he has destined expansion for you amen some of us are business owners some of us are entrepreneurs some of us 
God is releasing creativity, witty ideas, inventions. Amen. God has so much in store for you, but you're so stuck uh, being small minded. You can't see yourself uh, running your own business. Amen. You want to go work for somebody else and make that, that person rich. And God is calling you to finance his kingdom. Come on. God wants expansion to hit your life. He wants expansion to hit your life. Amen. Just blessing you share 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 heart me up heart me up amen I, I want to tell you to come up in your thought life come up in your thought life amen see god already sees you as that prophet he already sees you as that teacher he already sees you come on uh whatever god is calling to do that's how he sees you now we gotta look in the mirror and see ourselves the way god sees us you know so listen i told people yesterday on the call i said God told me to claim, claim it, amen, claim what I want, claim it, or name it and claim it, I think that's how you say it, amen, so it's time for us to start naming what we want and claiming it, amen, come on, expansion, expansion, I'm going to say it again, expansion is going to hit your life, amen, how many people believe that today, how many people believe that? You're coming out the pit, you're coming out the valley place, you're coming out the wilderness, you're coming out the dry place. Amen. That expansion belongs to you as a child of the most high God. Some of you guys, you know, in the next season, you're not going to be uh, clocking in on no time clock. Amen. God's going to pull you off that job. God's going to put you into full-time ministry. And what does that mean when you're in full-time ministry? You know, uh, it could mean different things with different people, but you're not going to be clocking in every day going to work every day amen because you're going to work for god and god is the best boss he's the best compensator amen so if you work for god and some people it's confirmation for some people on here because god has been giving you words about just going into full-time ministry that means also that god is going to sustain you amen he's going to sustain you also what does that mean when god brings expansion you know to somebody's life you may be staying in a trailer you may be staying in a one-bedroom apartment amen but god has destined a home for you amen a home uh that you're going to own amen expansion amen you may uh be wanting to start a business but you don't know how to do it but god's going to bring a level of expansion on your organization that god is calling you to start and the organization can't stay small amen just when you think in, in god just when you think you got to one level there's always another level it's always an opportunity to grow to go higher amen to grow to go higher so you can't stay small amen somebody say that i can't stay small say it again come on i feel faith rising up in the inside i can't stay small amen so i prophesy that we're going to change our mindset and we're going to get on fire for god we're going to seek him not just for what he can do for us but just seek him amen and when you seek him everything else is going to be added unto your life including expansion amen some of you guys you need certain things you need just uh food in your house gas in your car new clothes some somebody on here you lost a lot of weight and you're praying god i i need uh some new clothes i don't know who that is but god is dealing with you um because you lost a lot of weight and you're 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 praying uh for some new clothes but that's going to come because god and you said as you say by the grace that lost that weight um and and you're praying and let me just pray I don't, if that is that uh, if that's you let me know so okay that's you so i'm gonna prophesy to you right now and even god says say by grace amen he's going to change your employment because something with your employment is is uh on your uh, on your mind and your heart and god's going to uh bless you in that area as far as employment amen and god is going to give you uh an, an amount of wisdom wisdom god is giving you wisdom so you know how to to do the things that he is calling you to do lord and i thank you father god lord and i thank you and even um you haven't really told nobody this but you you smile and uh a lot of people depend on you um and you got you know help me the lord to say it god god is healing you in your emotions amen he's bringing healing in your emotions amen 
um and also some opportunities are going i'm talking to say by grace and let me know um because i don't know what i'm saying amen let me know if it's making sense to you also opportunity is going to open up to you because you're saying god i, I want to travel but i can't travel as much because of the funds amen but some opportunities is going to come forth for you for you to go to conferences and even some seminars for business uh and, and things like that so i don't know but i feel like god is shifting you into business and you're going to have a desire uh to want to know about things and even uh things to start new stuff like so much creativity that the lord is giving you uh so much creativity um you see things and then you see what's wrong with it and how they can improve uh for say so um god is he's he's showing you certain things so whenever god sends you forth or whatever god is calling you to do uh you'll have success I mean, that's the best way i can say it amen uh what's the other lady that said she lost weight um i think your profile picture is real i don't know what your name was amen okay was it f gibbs so you lost a bunch of weight and you're praying to god for clothes right now is that you f gibbs let me know don't y'all don't be lying on here now amen y'all lying god gonna get you <laughs> y'all tell the truth amen y'all tell the truth don't just say i lost weight and i'm been praying no i'm talking about someone that prayed it recently like God, I really want a new wardrobe because you're you're dealing with maybe some maybe some self esteem issues. Amen. But uh F Gibbs, Lord, I thank you, Lord. I, um I don't know if you're married, but I heard the Lord said I'm going to bless her marriage. Bless her marriage. It's been rocky, it's been a little chaotic. Uh, and it's in your heart uh you're you, you you're another one that tries to you prayed it an hour ago Ch 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 chessy i don't know if i said it right chessy anyways it's been a little tense but god is going to bring peace she said you're i don't know I, i'm not trying to put your business out or nothing like that but god is going to bless your marriage uh i don't know if it's no uh people too many people just chatter amen and God is going to silence that. He's going to um, cause y'all to soar above that. Amen. God is strengthening you, you guys' relationship right now. He says, pray for your womb. Uh, your, like your womb. I don't know what's going on with that, but I speak a blessing upon that. I speak, um, if you need healing, I speak healing. Amen. Conception in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you. I thank you, Father God. Uh, for expansion in her life the other one chessy and let me know if i'm right uh f gibbs amen if i if i made sense to you if i'm making sense uh chess Ch chessy i don't know if i'm saying it right let me know if you're you're here chess chessy uh let me know if you're you're on friend francesca i don't know if i'm saying it right uh i can't pronounce the 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 words all the time amen Lord, I thank you, Lord, for Chessie's life. And you're praying to God for divine connections. And God is going to connect you. Even he's going to allow you to have the right spiritual parents. Because I feel like you went through a cycle of having the wrong uh, people. Uh, you, you saw some things about some people and it kind of pricked your heart. Amen. And God is bring you healing with that, that issue in your life. Uh, Chelsea. Um, God, I thank you, Lord, and I pray for F. Gibbs. She said it's true. Amen. I have no idea what I'm saying, you guys. So um, let me go back to the, the people I'm praying for that you will get this clothes. You will get the you will get the new clothes. You will get the new clothes in the name of Jesus. But let's go back to Chelsea. You've been praying for two twin children, one boy and one girl. Been through a lot. Amen. I heard for F. Gibbs. I heard God is going to bless your womb. So I speak that you will conceive those twins in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right so chelsea amen so god is going to connect you connect you strategically i guess with the right spiritual parents right mentors amen and you have already had visions about just international like going overseas and just traveling like overseas and the people that god's going to connect you with they're going to kind of launch you and uh, be a support to you so you can 
go overseas and travel that way in sort amen she said yes so i thank god that this word uh this bless you go back and listen to uh the replay that god's going to bring expansion to your life amen if like i said tomorrow uh i'm going to be in waltersboro south carolina get there get there uh if you're sick i know god's going to heal you amen uh impartation deliverance especially deliverance i'm going to be pre preaching about the prophetic process because a lot of us we want things to happen like overnight but it's a process so we're going to be talking about this thing amen and i can't wait to see what god is what he's going to do it's going to be so powerful you guys it's going to be so awesome i cannot wait Woo! I'm, I'm just getting high in god thinking about it join us connect with us every day we're on the prayer line monday through friday somebody put the prayer line number up 712-770-4160 access code 673-436 we're on a prayer line um yeah 6 a.m praying in tongues yeah for an hour and god is moving amen i love to stir up i love to stir up the holy spirit within me uh and 12 we are on the prayer line as well we pray we're praying out of my, my one of my books this month uh it's called daily prayers that bring changes and we just go with that and uh whatever guy saying um so yes yeah, sign up for write a chapter amen the deadline is december 17th you can write a chapter in my new book sign up for school of the prophets you know classes start january the third get my new book the abcs of the prophetic prophetic characteristics and i love you go back and listen to the replay amen if this is blessing you my my um my website is on my bio, prophetsk.org, prophetsk.org. And I just want to speak blessings over you guys. I decree and declare God's going to increase you. God's going to bless the labor of your hands. A lot of you guys have been getting frustrated because you're saying, God, I'm working hard, but nothing is happening. I break the stagnancy off of you in the name of Jesus. Hi, husband. My husband, he all supports. So I love you guys. I got to go pick up my baby from school, my daughter. And I got to go out today. I got to do a bunch of things today to prepare for tomorrow. But hopefully I can meet some of you guys tomorrow. All right. See you soon. God bless.